The King of Dreamland, DDD, has a great many fans and subjects, but whether you are a diehard fan of the King, a passing player of Kirby games, or even completely unfamiliar with the world of Popstar, I would like to share with you a story that subverts your expectations. What if I told you that the stars in the night sky listen intently to our deepest desires? And, like clockwork, if you wish upon a star, then your deepest dreams may come true. There's a planet called Popstar where each night its inhabitants dream the good dreams that they hope to make a reality each and every day. But although Popstar may look idyllic to the outsider, a world of ice cream islands and vegetable valleys, all is not well. The self-proclaimed king of Dreamland DDD seems to have it all. Wealth, riches, power. But he is plagued with self-doubt. Each night he enters a fitful sleep, preoccupied with the fragility of his reign. He is troubled by youthful, more talented contenders and rivals. He is troubled by thoughts that his reign is a sham. This is DDD's nightmare in Dreamland. I wanna be the king that everyone remembers Not just some thing, one second fiddle or the jester How can I stop my dream from turning to a nightmare? How can I help them see the burden that I bear? Why do you let yourself something speak to you without a retort? If you let me, I would be glad to help you reclaim your gold Just take my hand, I am the darkness that you already know While the rest of Dreamland sleeps peacefully, the king fights every night mightily with his nightmare. Each morning he questions whether to tell his subjects about his struggles. But in his self-doubts, instead of friends, he only sees threats, subjects, sycophants, saboteurs. But from all these, he only sees happy lives of peace and harmony. He sees no one who seems to share his same internal turmoil. And so King DDD feels that if he shares his deep doubts, that others will see his vulnerability as profound weakness. So DDD selects his closest confidants carefully. He cries out his struggles to the wispy woods, to the dark storm clouds above, to the shining moon at night and the bright sun at day. He confides in the presence of a knight within his king's guard, to his royal portraitist, and even to a machine before he will reveal his secrets to anyone else. With his closest allies selected, he journeys to the central hub from which all dreams flow, the Fountain of Dreams. Therein lies an artifact of the ancients, a rod that concentrates the wish-bearing powers of the stars. DDD takes the star rod, shatters it. He seeks to forever vanquish the nightmare that haunts him. And at the end, he seems victorious. The king is finally freed of his nightmare. All seems to be turning well. The sun even shines just a little more brightly in the sky. And yet, all is not well in Dreamland. The rest of the inhabitants of Dreamland are suffering. Without the Star Rod, yes, King Dedede's nightmares are indeed vanquished. 
but so too are gone all of the good dreams that the rest of the inhabitants of Dreamland are used to. DDD knows not what he has done, and unbeknownst to the king, he has paved the way for his deepest and darkest fear. For now, a new, younger, and more talented hero must step into place to fix the errors and mistakes that DDD has made. But that is a story for another time.